Hi guys, I would like to show you new Zen Sites update 1.1. We have improved performance as well as added new exciting features and support for Blender 3.0. Let's go! Above the list you can find 6 new buttons. The first one is Display Groups. Actually, it's the same button is here, so and it provides the access to this option, so if the list is very long. The next button will synchronize selection in list and viewport. Before that you had to select group and then click select. But right now you just have this button activated and selection will be synchronized. Also you can enable auto frame option and you will have your view changed according to selecting group. A bit further we have two buttons. The first one will enable and disable information about how many objects in the scene have this group. And another one will enable and disable possibility of hiding groups. So right now you can easily hide groups from the list. We have two different objects in the scene. Let's select the first one, add all the elements to the new group switch to another object, add this element to another group, and now by using this display all scene groups, we can see what groups we have in the scene, not only in the active object, but in all objects in the scene. And we even can add elements from this object to the same group. And also we can again select first object, and we can see that somewhere in the scene is an object with the same group. And we can select this object. Actually, we can find it. Select all objects by group ID. Okay, so and now this object is selected. For the previous update, we didn't have undo operations, and right now we have it. Let's add new group more groups. Now just by pressing Ctrl Z we can undo all the operations. We grouped all the import and export operators into a separate panel. A bit higher you can see two new buttons, copy and paste. And by using these buttons you can transfer information between modes. And we can copy all the groups from the face parts into, for example, vertex sets. And again, we can, for example, copy information from the vertex sets from the active group and pass it to the edge parts. Previously, for the auto groups tool, we have only normal delimit. But right now we have more options like material, seam, sharp, UVs, for example, we can choose UVs. And we will receive groups that were created based on your UVs. We have added the possibility to change hotkeys for our workspace tool. Let me remind you how cool this tool is. So Ctrl Shift D group selector and now holding control key and scrolling we can select different groups. Also we can hold control and shift click and control shift and drag again control shift click and control shift drag to isolate everything so and it's very close to what we can see in ZBrush. Also you can change display settings for active and inactive group, for example, for the active group and inactive groups. Then I can restore settings. You can do the same for edges, vertices, as well as change their size. We added context sensitive help system. You can hover your cursor over any button, press F1 and receive all the information about this button. For example, remove or again smart select. Use it and learn how to use Zen sets. 
You can find all the information about current update on change log section. And thanks for watching.